Way to go. Look at that. He's got another one. I mean. Boy, that's a great big male. Jeremy's fighting one. I can guarantee you one thing. If you haven't tried small river catfishing, you have to. As you can see, it's just unbelievable. Look at that. <laughs> Got him. I don't whoa, know whoa. what else you can do to get action like this through the ice for this size of fish. Maybe some big, big pike, but you don't usually land on schools a pike like that where you're doubled up and it's one after another. Pretty darn cool. Much of your success on the water is related to the reliability of your equipment. Poor or dysfunctional gear usually results in an unpleasant experience. We've all been down that road, and as seasons pass, we hope to get better at the game. Ice fishing requires lots of gear and a high cylinder index to be mobile. Much of our ice fishing equipment sits for months on end without use. So we use seafoam motor treatment in all the fuel we run through our ice augers, sleds, four-wheelers, and even trucks. It does the few important things extremely well. It will stabilize fuel for up to two years, preventing both phase separation and the formation of varnish. It helps clean harmful deposits from carburetors, jets, and injectors. It controls moisture, lubricates upper cylinders, and most of all, ensures your motors are starting and running right. Adding seafoam motor treatment in each tank also makes storage easy. So when you're done for the season, you can trust that the engine is clean, the fuel is fresh, and the cylinders will be ready to fire when you need them to. Oh, there you go. You know, right now we're late ice fishing. You know, and over the course of a season, we really fish for a wide variety of different fish through the ice. Huh? Northern pike, walleyes, panfish. We even catch bass through the ice. But right now, Jeremy and I are going to look at uh, catching probably a, a fish that uh, it's not really unknown, but uh, not a lot of people fish for them. It's catfish, and we're talking big ones through the ice. It's sort of an interesting story because it wasn't that long ago we caught these same fish about five miles that way. Today, anglers have tremendous resources available to find new fishing hotspots. Trap net and gill net surveys done by the Department of Natural Resources in states across the country can provide a wealth of information. This particular reservoir has a lot of channel cats in the 25 to 29 inch category. These numbers inspired us to check out this particular watershed. Our initial research mission in this area started in July. We're actually fishing a small river that feeds a reservoir down below us here. And what we're doing is driving up the river. We're going to drive up for a couple of miles and we're going to actually sort of survey the environment. Uh, we've never been in this watershed before. We know that there's catfish in here, uh, smallmouth bass. We've actually seen some of them. But the thing is, is what we're looking for are three specific things. Depth, current and cover. Cover meaning weed, wood, or rocks. In this environment, it actually has both, so it should be really an interesting situation here. We'll see what size of cats we catch in here. Finding locations in rivers that are prime spots is a lot of just assessing it with your eyes as you're looking up river. There will be areas that are shallow and fast that we call riffles. There will be other areas that are just kind of shallow and flat we call runs. And then there's the holes, they're the tail outs behind those riffles or those runs. And that's what we're looking for. And a lot of those deeper spots then are on the river bends. Maybe the river will bend and then it'll come out, it'll run into a, just a sh straight shot with just shallow water. And when you get a good bend, especially in the low water, that's where the deepest water typically is. And that's where most of the fish will be. This is looking a lot really this good right really up in good. here. Boy, look at that habitat right out in front of See, us here. See, this is perfect. See the high bank? I mean, even if you were to come in here with a canoe or something like that, you'd be able to identify, even without a depth finder, we do have a, a depth finder here so we can see how deep it is. But if you were to come in here with a canoe or something like that, or just wade fishing, which a lot of people do in these small rivers, you can see with your eyes, it's a steep bank, it's a big bend in the river, there's a lot of cover, this is obviously a good spot. That's a really good spot right if there. If you could I make a I classic could... catfish spot in a small river, it's this right here. here. This, this is, is it. it. Yep. 